The single flap approach represents a simplified procedure that allows to surgically access intrabony periodontal defects by raising a single full thickness flap, either buccal or lingual, depending on the defect extension. The procedure in this video is performed to regenerate an intrabony defect between the first premolar and the cuspid in the upper jaw. Careful bone sounding is carried out to diagnose the extension of the defect, which for this particular defect extends to the buccal area. The flap design is based on an intrasulcular incision following the buccal gingival margin and a butt joint incision at the base of the papilla at the site of the intrabony defect. The mesiodistal extension of the incision is determined by the ability to access the defect to perform an accurate root and defect debridement. Here, the flap is extended mesially and distally by an intrasulcular incision along with a beveled incision of the papilla on the adjacent teeth. A horizontal butt joint incision at the base of the papilla is made with the surgical blade kept 90 degrees with respect to the long axis of the tooth. This incision allows maintaining the thickness of the interproximal tissues. Vertical releasing incisions are avoided. The buccal papilla is maintained intact in order to preserve the contralateral vascularization and to facilitate healing for primary intention. Due to the buccal extension of the defect, a full thickness flap is raised on the buccal aspect only. This ensures proper surgical access to the root surface defect. The granulation tissue is removed by means of a small periodontal Hirschfeld file. The file should only be used to remove the granulation tissue, but not to scale the root surface. The root surface is debrided by means of ultrasonic instrumentation. The Hirschfeld file is also used to decorticalize the internal part of the intrabony defect in order to open the marrow spaces to facilitate the migration of mesenchymal stem cells from the bone marrow into the defect. The defect appears as a 2 to 3 wall self containing intrabony defect. Due to the self containing morphology, a regenerative approach with Straumann Mdogain can be used without the addition of graft biomaterials. The conditioning of the root surface is carried out by applying Straumann Pref Gel, EDTA, for two minutes.
After conditioning of the root surface, Strauman Pref gel is removed by thoroughly irrigating the surgical area with sterile saline. Strauman Emdogain is applied on the exposed, clean, and blood-free root surface by starting at the most apical bone level. A blood-free and clean root surface is important for the precipitation of amylogenins onto the root surface. Therefore, controlling the bleeding and reaching an appropriate level of hemostasis is necessary. Primary closure of the interdental area is ensured by a modified internal mattress suture technique, as introduced by Laurel. Sutures are left in place for 14 days. Chlorhexidine regimen is maintained for four weeks. Any trauma to the interproximal papilla by brushing should be avoided for two to three weeks. The patient has to be enrolled in a stringent maintenance regimen.